Hello, my name is Sesha Saavedra and I'm a Technical Product Marketing Manager with uh, Red Hat Middleware BU. And in this session we're going to cover the MicroProfile Starter. Uh, but first let's review what uh, MicroProfile is. So MicroProfile is an, an open source community driven specification for enterprise Java microservices. It's made up of a community of individuals, organizations and vendors that collaborate within an open source uh, project to bring microservices to the enterprise Java community. There are over 10, uh, actually no, there are 10 implementations of uh, this specification that you can see on this slide in the market. The last version of MicroProfile is 3.3. There is This is the umbrella release that came out in February of 2020. And uh, it consists of 12 APIs. However, the MicroProfile project itself has 16 APIs overall. Those that are the, uh, under the umbrella and those that are standalone that you can see here on this slide. On the left, you can see that the four bottom APIs come from Jakarta EE, but the other eight, the second and, and the top row, are MicroProfile proper APIs. They go from health, uh, JWT propagation for security, metrics, fault tolerance. This is where you find things like uh, bulkheads, circuit breakers, retries, etc. There's config API, REST client um, for type safe um, calls to REST endpoints, open API that is compliant with version 3 of open API, and open uh, tracing. On the right side, you see the standalone. Specifications for reactive programming, that's reactive messaging, reactive streams operators, and context propagation, as well as GraphQL. Now, all these APIs are for the, the basically the, the development of enterprise Java microservices. So now that we've reviewed what MicroProfile is, let's come back to the MicroProfile starter. It is a project, a Maven project generator with examples. So it actually generates projects and uh, sample source code. So it is easy to use. Uh, here you select the group ID and the artifact ID and then for MicroProfile version you can select, uh, for example, I'm going to select uh, MicroProfile 3.2 and then for the runtime I'm going to select Quarkus and then on this side you get to select either one or all uh, of the uh, MicroProfile APIs. In this case, I'm going to select uh, select all, but you can select any any combination of them. Uh, and also, I should mention that here for Java SE version, some of the runtimes support Java 11 uh, as of today, and some don't. That's why, um, for example, for um, for Wildfly, you'll see that it's Java 8 and 11, but in this case, we're selecting Quarkus, so that's just Java 8. And then all you do that after you do this, you click on download. I'm not going to click on download because I already did it, and it basically downloads the zip file. You download the zip file demo.zip to my local directory, and then um, let's unzip the file and see what's in there. So unzip uh, downloads demo.zip. There we go. That creates a subdirectory called demo. And in there you see a readme file in two other directories called service A and service B. These are two separate Maven projects. And the reason that you have two is because uh, some of these specifications, I believe uh, uh, the JWT authentic um, uh, propagation spec and the REST client spec, they require a caller and a callee. So the, the tool generates two microservices. Uh, so let's, um, there is a readme file that is also generated with instructions and explanation of what's uh, in that directory. So basically this readme file is saying that there are two microservices, service A and service B. And then if you CD to each of them, there, there will be another readme file in there. So if you list the readme file for service A, which is the caller, uh, it gives you instructions on how to build, compile, in the case you need to compile to native, and how to run. And instructions actually on how to 
use each of the or how to exercise each of the generated sample source code and code for each of the microprofiles microprofile specifications specification yeah so let's see um, there's a readme file here for service B as well so let's start compiling uh, or building in this case so let's go here if you don't remember the specific command you can always cat the readme file so let's compile there I'm sorry build and let's build here too so I'm building both microservices A and B and that sh they should build pretty quickly and then when they're done let's run them so again, let's just uh, cat the readme file and go to the line that shows you how to run it. And in this case, let's uh, run it from the runner file. Okay, and this one, uh, let's do the same thing here. For service B, we're going to run and oh, and we have to offset the offset the port here so that there is no conflict between the two services. Now again, the README file tells you how to get started. So there is this URL on service A, which has the web app, which is the main interface for this sample projects. So there you go, and uh, here you have uh, the default endpoint that you get with this sample application. And each of these sections describe, ha have links, has links for the different microprofile specifications. So let's try, for example, this, this is the main entry point, or the default entry, uh, REST entry, entry point. And then there, this is uh, links that exercise the config um, micro profile specification this is the one for fault tolerance this is the one for health showing that it's up for liveness liveliness and readiness metrics how to use met metrics and that's all the metrics that are available to uh, JWT is the authorization authentication I'm sorry that um, that is being exercised there uh, REST client is a, safe, a type safe um, call to a REST endpoint using the micro profile specification. And open tracing requires the installation of Jaeger, which I'm not going to install in, during this session, but uh, again, you have instructions for it uh, here in the README file. It's right here. Basically, it's it, uh, indicating that you need to download the uh, software first for Jaeger and then run this script and then once it's installed you uh, can open the browser here to see the Jaeger uh, tracing output uh, the different spans also and uh, this one open API if I click on it is going to generate an, a file that is version C3 compliant open API compliant that um, can you can visualize with Swagger, uh, the Swagger I, um, IDE. So let's copy this. If you want to see it in the Swagger editor, there's one that is online called uh, over at editor.swagger.io, and all you need to do is replace this with um, with the new content and then these uh, this is formatted very nicely here in a UI on the right side all right so everything works and now I mean I'm a, if I'm a developer what I want to know is I want to actually see the source code right and, and so I can reuse it in my applications so let's let's um, open the source code first let's stop the running microservices and actually we can close all these tabs And then let's open the source code. Uh, let's go here, open folder, 
and it is actually under here and it was called demo there we go all right so Quarkus uh, has this very neat feature uh, to do live coding and that means that uh, as you edit your source code and make changes to it and edits the runtime Quarkus is actually the Quarkus runtime is recycled for you automatically and you can see the effects of your change immediately uh, so let's for that we need to start uh, service A in depth mode so again uh, you can go to the readme file and there is a line here on how to start it in dev mode so copy and paste and actually for B we don't have to we don't have to uh, start it in dev mode we need to the offset the port there you go all right so let's see um, Let's close this and close this. All right, so now that's the source code. Now let's go to the browser and refresh this, okay? Make sure it hits the running process. Now look, it says hello world here. So if we go here and let's say we wanna change the, this to Ola and we save it and we go back to the application and we reopen the endpoint, you are gonna see all our world, right? So as soon as I make changes, they are immediately, the runtime is immediately recycled. Um, here is right here, it says hot replace. And then I can see the changes immediately. So another neat thing about Quarkus is that it turns the, uh, if there's an error, it turns the stack them upside down and it shows the most relevant mis uh, error messages first. So let's say I make a mistake here in my source code and I, I click on this endpoint again. And if you see now there is an error message and it actually is showing me exactly what I did wrong. So this is gonna, make me you know identify the errors fast and it's going to save me a lot of time that way i don't have to hunt down the the very long um, stack dump to understand which error is really the one that caused the problem and it's just gonna make me more productive as a, as a developer so let's fix this problem again and make sure that um, it's all working. Yeah, it says all our world. Uh, let's just set, put this back to hello world. And make sure it's back to hello world. All right, so that's uh, live coding. Uh, if you wanna see the rest of the code there is a directory for config, for example. That is, it, this is the code that is actually using, shows you how to use, um, how to inject a configuration property into your source code. In this case, um, the configuration property is called injected value and injected. There are two being used here. And uh, you would declare them in a file which is called application properties. See right here, they are here injected value and value. In fact, when you, if you say injected value here, it says, you know, this is the value that came from that file, injected value. And then lookup value, it's, uh, when uh, let me see by lookup, this is lookup value. It came. That's the value for the other value, and then the way they're being used is uh, here, like um, like that. 
right there. Okay, so this, so, so basically, the, the, if you if you look at the rest of the of the source files, they each give you an example on how to use the annotations of the specific micro profile uh, specification. Right, in the case of health, you're gonna see you know an example or of or of how to use you know in this case the annotation is lightness, right? So you get the idea. So as a developer, you actually have sample code that you can start with, um, you know, and it'll it'll lower the barrier of entry to learn um, micro profile. It'll make you you you'll get to be productive faster and start being uh, you know start generating code and and writing applications faster by using these uh, examples. All right, so. Um, one thing I like to show. One last thing I like to show you is uh, there is a nifty. I showed you the Swagger editor earlier, but there is a way to include um, a Swagger editor in the in the code itself. So let me stop service A here, and if you edit the pom file and you go to the dependency section there is a dependency you can install which is right here um, it's uh, it's out of this it's called micro profile open API extensions it's a bunch of extensions that have been developed a separate project this outside micro profile but it's really, it really comes in handy because when you add this dependency, what happens is it adds, it embeds uh, an editor into your application. So, so let's go back and put it here. There we go. And then let's save the file. we go and then we can uh, let's let's run it again in dev mode and then when we run it in nef dev mode let's close that let me see if it's already up it seems to be up so let's refresh this page no it's not working, let me see, is it up now? Let's try again, there we go, now it's up. All right, so uh, so once you add that dependency that I just showed you, all you have to do is you come here and you say swagger-ui, and now uh, the swagger UI is running with, you know, within the microservice and it's actually serving the the um, the open API version three uh, data for this for this service okay so that's all I had uh, to show you for today I hope uh, you uh, enjoy the session and uh, learn how to uh, use the micro profile starter to get you um, to get you you know productive and to learn micro profile uh, fast and uh, and get started with it easily thank you very much